So we're here at Emerging Hearts Contact Improvisation Dance Camp and uh, we're holding it at the Bison Farm which for me is a site that I've used for many many years uh, as when I first came here the land itself, the nature, the trees, the setting, even the, the land owners uh, it just has a very healing soft energy for, to really help people arrive into being in nature, to being in a space of away from the cities, away from these sort of more busy, hectic, kind of hyped up spaces. So uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of great workshops here, amazing teachers and uh, things that we, we facilitate, but the space itself is in its own way uh, a holding for us that takes care of us, all of us here, uh, with the magnificent bison uh, as sort of part of the backdrop to this. Uh, and in their own way, obviously they, they were traditionally a very revered creature uh, of the plains of Amer North America and they bring they bring a soft calm peaceful uh, uh, sort of serenity to this space so when people arrive they always say that they always comment wow there's a gentleness here a calmness a tranquility so yeah holding the holding the camp here having that other extra layer to the event has also been a very magical quality so yeah I'm so grateful that the the, the land itself is, is 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 a real asset to this event so thanks seemed unimaginable a few weeks ago after a year locked in flats that we would be able to stand across a dance floor from someone and meet their eyes and breathe and sing and take in the trees together and find ways to feel safe together and to be held. I have enjoyed pretty much every session and the fact the only bad thing about Emerging Arts Festival was this excruciating moment when you realised that the three workshops you desperately wanted to do every day were all at the same time <laughs> and that is a real tribute to the uh, facilitation um, and the choosing of, of people. Uh, oh, I love contact for changing sense of orientation of yourself and way of getting to know some someone else that you haven't met before and building a connection in a relationship that um, yeah it's quite limitless in a way and super sensorial and um, the space for playfulness and sensitivity and trust in someone and to listen yourself into another in the space. Um, yeah.
I like the, the 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 peeling away of all these uh, places that we hold the inside into the softening and the connection. Even though sometimes it's a crunchy and horrible and no, but it's great. Emerging Hearts Festival has been like a birthing <laughs> back into connection with other people and there's been a lot of tenderness and um, a lot of hearts gently opening and grief in that but also a remembering of the joy and the scratchiness and the collaboration of being in community. I think some things uh, just can't be expressed in any other way. I think um, our emotional life is inextricably linked to our physical bodies. Dance makes me uh, leap, and dance makes me shake, and dance makes me roll around on the floor, and uh, dance makes me uh, happy. What I love about contact dance is the touchness I find in the dancing, the sensitivity and um, the way that things just unfold, continuous flow of this and that. <laughs> and this festival, Richard just told me that it's the first time, and I think he's right, it's the first time that we've had a contact improvisation festival camp. Uh, we've had festivals, of course, but we haven't had a camp before. And this is really special. And the tent is amazing to dance in. And it's been a beautiful festival so far. Thank you.